Hi, Bob Greenier here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. This evening, uh, before I uh, fly to Madison, Wisconsin, I thought I'd uh, try and find time uh, r uh, to uh, have a look at the 2% uh, thorium doped uh, tungsten welding rod that we exposed to a Mars gas uh, for a short time in uh, Japan. And when I looked at the rod, I immediately noticed this structure, uh, uh, the first sort of blob I came across. And what struck my, uh, uh, me was that it was this uh, shape here, which is sli slightly asymmetric. Uh, and it's like the jewel. It's like a number of structures that we saw on the Lion Reactor. And it's also like structures that you see in uh, Hutchison. Uh, and other things. So it's, it's kind of like a, it's got a central point here. You see this out round bit here. Uh, it has this little central area here and uh, this kind of like area around here. And so I, I really wanted to have a quick look at this and the area for me that's of most interest I believe was this. So I had a close look in there and uh, you can see it here and it's uh, quite interesting and I could easily see, and uh, there are many examples that I will share uh, moving forward, um, but you get these two spots. I call them yin and yang. Um, uh, there's like outy, and this is slightly inny, but it's actually got a, a, a sort of raised bit in the center with this uh, ring around it, and this is a, a sort of depression. But anyway, these two spots. Uh, so this is somewhat of a signature for me, but also there are these uh, spheres. And there are many of these kind of little sphere structures uh, with uh, material around it. So uh, I wanted to have a look at this under the uh, SEM and uh, to see if there were other elements other than tungsten and thorium. And guess what? Uh, there's a lot of elements. And uh, yeah, so uh, essentially. Um, in many of these areas which I've uh, highlighted here and this data will all be available uh, It'll be in the description maybe not immediately tonight, but uh, it'll be popped into the description at a later time So quite a few of them you got the around about 2% here for thorium This is to be expected, but in this affected area. There's very very low amounts of uh, tungsten Well, of course, there's going to be oxides. We know that um, but there's a lot of carbon and uh, we're also seeing a wide range of elements uh, aluminium silicon potassium calcium titanium iron uh, You've got sulfur down here uh, sodium magnesium um, And yeah, so but the very interesting point is uh, that uh, for these two actual spots uh, This one and this one if we look at what those are uh, and this is where I think most of the action would be. There is absolutely 0% thorium. That is 0% thorium. And you've got like high concentrations of uh, uh, carbon, obviously. 52% um, carbon atoms there. Uh, only 2.79% uh, tungsten. Uh, and then you have... Um, you know, iron in there, calcium in there, silicon in there. I mean, here we have 6% uh, silicon. So uh, this is very interesting. And I think from studying of this tungsten rod, we'll be able to understand if this is, in fact, uh, a Mars gases, low energy nuclear reactions in a can, um, then, uh, you know, we'll be able to study this uh, rod and learn a lot about what it's actually doing uh, on the surface of this uh, tungsten uh, thorium doped tungsten welding rod. Anyway, so that's I just wanted to share that with you um, as soon as I could. Uh, thank you very much for your time.